Bill, you're over there. We haven't talked with you. Um, you um, tell us more about uh, picking up uh, when you worked. At, you did um, the movie of. No, I didn't do did, any. I didn't do any you movies. Didn't, no. Well, tell us about what you did after that. Um, well, um, Conquering we Hero was the last uh, thing ah, I did with him. Yes. Yeah. And um, uh, he created this big ballet around the character that I was playing, and I was playing the leading man. And uh, he also did what I call a Fosse trio. And I loved the Fosse trios. I could hardly wait if I saw a show that I wasn't in there. Hopefully there would be a trio. And there's something about those trios that, let's just say you have a beautiful leaf. And it's gorgeous, and you look at it. But if you put it under a microscope, it's a whole different thing. You see things in it you never saw before. And I always found his trios like that. It was so distilled and so perfect, and he could say more with less in those kind of things than anybody I ever knew. But he could turn right around and do the big smash hit number two. But I always look forward to the trios. So he did this trio, and he came in one day and he said, I have to cut it. He said, it's my favorite thing in the show, but I'm going to have to cut it. And he said, um, that was the way it was. Now, I wasn't heartbroken because I respected him so much. But the thing I learned that day from him was, do not fall in love with your own work. And if it doesn't work, get it out of there. First big lesson, you know, from the master working with him, you know, side by side. And um, the day that he was fired, I was on my way to rehearsal. And they called my name in the lobby of the hotel. And they said, go to the house phone. And I went, I thought, I don't know anybody in Washington. And I pick up the phone. He said, this is Bobby. He said, I have some bad news. He said, uh, I've been fired. There are a lot of reasons. And we knew there was trouble going on, but we didn't know what it was. And one of the reasons, um, they wanted to put the leading man into the ballet, which was, I was playing him in the ballet. And he absolutely refused to do that, because he knew what he had there was right. So he said, I just want you to know before you go to rehearsal so that you know it's not a big shock. And I walked in, and of course they told me, and it wasn't a big shock. But to think that he would take the time to protect me in a situation that was so bad for him was something very special to me. And I think he loved his dancers very much. There are a lot of choreographers, as we all know, don't like their dancers. <laughs> and he, I think he really loved them and respected them. And I learned a lot from him and the way he handled people. I just want to 